Hi Capricorn, let's see what's going on in your connection. I will be pulling your energy, their energy, and the energy that ties the bonds between us. If this reading doesn't resonate, check out your other sign positions. Your moon, rising, or Venus might resonate. And I also do a wild card reading in case you want to check that one out and see if it resonates. So this is for my Capricorn. Let's pull your energy right now. Ooh, we've got somebody finding their direction. Uh huh. Determination. Not going to be swayed from what you're wanting. Uh huh. That's clarity. Absolutely knowing what you want and going after it. Let's see your person's energy. Let's find my Capricorn's person's energy. Ooh, we've got, oh, we've got somebody feeling a little bit caged in. Uh huh. That's being self-restricted, but it's, it's the sense of, like, being imprisoned. Yeah. Let's pull a clarifier on that one and see if we can get a little bit more of what's making them feel like they're being self-restricted. A lot of times that card will come up when we don't want others to fall into that darkness with us. Uh, the one thing you'll notice about the image is uh, our uh, person is letting butterflies go, giving them their freedom. So that they can transform because your person feels like they're not able to uh, move forward or transform their life. Transform the situations that they're in. Let's pull a clarifier. Let's see if we can find a clarifier on that one. Find out a little bit more. Oh, they want a new beginning. Some freedom. Uh-huh. This person feels like they can't move forward. They don't have a lot of faith in uh, the future for their self, and they're a little bit reluctant to uh, have someone in that darkness with them, feeling that way or feeling stuck with them. It's like a self-sacrificing mode of, I don't want you to be imprisoned with me in this energy. Let's go ahead and pull... The energies that are tying the bonds between us. What, what is alluring us together? Because just with these cards, it's a sense of this person is trying not to lure you, lure you in, but to persuade you into uh, going your own way. So yeah, and we've got seem to have a determination of nope, I'm not, I'm not leaving. That kind of thing. So, let's find the energy that's uh, pulling us together. Mm, so, my Capricorns, we've got a death, rebirth, Scorpio energy. A death, rebirth, the want, the want of that newness. Mm -hmm, right here on that full card underneath your person's the want of... Uh, a new start. Uh, so yeah, let's keep going here. This is for my Capricorn and their person. Ten of Pentacles. Ten of Pentacles. That's long term. Thinking out long term. Oh, so we do. We do got desires to build a life or legacy together. Mm -hmm. And that will be on both of our parts because this is the energy that ties the binds. Uh, page of Pentacles, feeling like, uh, especially picking up this person, that they're not just not quite sure what direction to go in and what to manifest. Uh, the desire to want a, a life, a long-term commitment, but not knowing how to achieve that. So we do have a desire to be together. To create together and stuff. But this person, something's going on on a personal level. That has them um, feeling like they're going to drag you into their dark shadow energy of being stuck. And they want you to be free. To be able to um, manifest the things you want in your life. Even though they got a sense they can't do that themselves. Let's pull the Romance Angel Oracles. See how this energy is playing out. How that energy is playing out. Because that death, rebirth, that Scorpio energy is like, we're determined. 
to stick by this person's side, but also to help them come out of whatever it is that's being uh, oppress, uh, you know, oppressing them, get making them feel stuck. That rebirth, they also want the rebirth, and we know it. So yeah. Let's see how the energies are playing out right now for my Capricorn and their person. Finances and careers. Financial issues are a factor in your love life right now. Mm-hmm. Mm. In the fact, we did pick up the pentacles. This person may be having, you know, issues with career, uh, things like that. Finances, resources. Mm. What else? What else is playing out for my Capricorn right now? True love, this is the romance of a lifetime. True love is what really pinged for me. As we absolutely love this person, we want to stick by their side. Retreat, it's time to disconnect from the world. Yeah. And that's, you know, the worldly. Like I said, we picked up pentacles and the fact that we got finances and career. This person may be really down and out and feel stuck in not being able to manifest um, on the material realm. And they're like, you know, not, not so sure you need to be with someone that is in their position. Let's put it that way. But they want to. They want to change things. Change those circumstances up. What else is playing out for my Capricorns? Let me see if I can find some more energy on this. There it is. Getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Uh, we're going through a phase right now. In the connection where we are truly getting to know each other on a deeper level. So. Oh, let's pull the tarot again. Find out what is your true desires. And this is for my uh, Capricorn. What is your true desires and wants in this connection right now? Let's see if we can pick that up. Mm. New love. Holding the heart space for someone. Mm -hmm. Blessings. Uh, the start, that's the ace, is where your cup is starting to fill up and run over with blessings. Uh, going through a little bit of a chaotic time. Mm -hmm. Our desire is to get organized, to work together. A lot of times this is about getting in sync with each other and uh, teamwork, working together, holding heart space, working together. Oh, I like that. Let's see your person's true wants and desires right now in this connection. Your person's true wants. Oh, they definitely want to do some magic and manifest. And like I said, they they want they feeling stuck, but they want that new beginning. And it's more likely their uh, circumstances around career job, things like that, where they're feeling a little bit like they're not able to manifest. They want to, though, with that magician card. Queen of Pentacles. Oh, Capricorn energy. Yes, they want their Capricorn, their queen energy. Yes. But this also brings in stability, being able to provide a stable environment. So, yeah. Let's see intentions. Intentions on my Capricorn's part. Do we anything that needs to be brought to our attention about our intentions? Any actions? Anything we're thinking of that uh, need, we need to look at? Letting go of the past. Mm -hmm. like getting past this grieving part. This part of feeling like we have lost something. Uh, but in our light seers tarot has her she is pouring out all of the chalices all that remain that's a complete healing letting go of the past moving forward transitioning into uh something new so that's our intention is to let go of the past and judgment card to reinvent ourselves a uh, resurrection uh that may be helping this person resurrect their hopes have a bright future for their self, not only for us as a 
couple or a partnership, but also for their self. Let's see your person's intentions. I don't know. The star card, Aquarius, they do have a lot of hope. They do have a lot of hope. The Aquarius card, and it, I like that because it's insinuating your person is getting ready to dr transition, step step over that portal into something coming their way that's, a, you know, really better than what they've been experiencing. Uh, patience, Seven of Pentacles. Their intentions is patience and doing what they need to do uh, to al allow things to come to fruitation, but also to try not to force things. Yeah. Let's go ahead and see. Uh, what do we want to do? Let's do two weeks out in front of us. Our energy two week two weeks out in front of us. I'm gonna use the moonology cards so I can tap into the mental, emotional levels. And this is our energy together going out in front of us. It's for my Capricorn and their person. What's headed their way? next two weeks the energies we've got don't let pride get in your way full moon in leo inner strength uh leo also is pinging me to the strength card in tarot uh, um, inner confidence of knowing thing you can get things to work with you and not against you it's a good time but just don't let pride get in your way nothing is yet set in stone that's the mutable moon uh-huh Mm -hmm. Nothing is permanent yet. It ain't over till it's over with that mutable moon. It's time to release negativity, full moon in Scorpio. Yep. Yep. Anything else for my Capricorn and their person? Anything else? Come on, get there it is. Prosperity lies ahead. New moon in Taurus. I love that. Mm -hmm. Like I said, with that star card coming in on your person, and plus the full card as a clarifier, really things are going to be changing. If if this is resonating for you, and you know your person's having problems with like job, career, finances, things like that, uh, prosperity is right out in front of them. We've got three confirmations on that one. So, yeah, let's go ahead and look at um, any blocks or challenges that we've got in our connection. I will switch off to the Cosmic Tarot. This is for my Capricorn. Are there any blocks or challenges that need to be brought to our attention right now? Any blocks or challenges right now? Hmm. Princess of Swords. As a page of swords are thinking, um, more likely your person's thinking is like a little bit down, cloudy right now. Princess of Pentacles trying to find direction. We're getting a lot of pages here. Uh, and the strength card, mm -hmm, the courage, being bold, but also, like I said, getting the, the lion to work with you instead of against you and being able to believe that that lion is the world, to, you know, the outer world and things when we get into the mindset of everything is working against me i'm cursed got bad luck going on things like that i mean that's uh will drag us down uh and have us in a fearful state so yeah right now the blocks are the uh boldness courageous faith in knowing you can get things to work for you and not against you and finding direction because we got two pages Thoughts and manifesting. We're not quite sure what direction to go in when it comes to the material things yet. And our thoughts are scattered. Scattered. So, yeah. And like I said, I'm feeling it on this person's part. Let's see what else. Let's go. Let me pull that deck back. What do you need to know? What does my Capricorns need to know right now? Anything they're overlooking that one might help them right now. What would they need to know or consider right now? That would be helpful. Oh, we've got the lovers card. Gemini energy communications, but also lovers. Uh-huh. The love that we in the bond that we have between us. 
Uh -huh. The communications, hangman. Oh, yeah. Feeling a little bit stuck, but it, when we get a hangman, that's most of the time our uh, higher self, the divine, has put us in that position so that we can slow down and get a different perspective and see things a little more clearly. So, yeah, that's one thing to, to consider. Have faith. And um, especially for this person, you hold that space for them if they, because they're the ones feeling stuck right now. Love them anyway, but hold that positive uh, and uh, optimistic uh, outlook onto the future of what what can you learn and see different going through this. So yeah, and the sun card, the sun's getting ready to rise. Mm -hmm. Prosperity lies ahead, happiness, and clarity. Clarity. Let's go ahead and get some advice from my Capricorns. We are using the Whispering Woods. This is from your higher self, your guides, or the divine. Any any of your spirit tribe that wants to uh, pull through and give you a message with these. We've got risk. Learn to grow wherever you are planted. Yes. Learn to grow wherever you are planted. Mm -hmm. That's having that faith. Of any minute, <laughs> I'm going to be put in the upright position and not be stuck. Let go. Enjoy the pulsing light of the firefly, but don't hold too tight to it. Yeah. Momentary thing. Enjoy the beauty around you. Mm -hmm. That's also pinging, that, pinging us back to the Leo energy of having faith that everything works for you, not against you. Light. Look for this. Look to the space between the trees for the answers. Look into the darkness, into the shadow. Uh, between the trees is the shadow. Mm -hmm. That's our depths. What are we afraid of? Things like that. And more than likely, we're getting advice on how to really look at our person and how to connect with them and uh, also know what they're experiencing right now. Transformation. Emerge with beauty and grace from your cocoon. Ow. Transformation. Ow, I like that because that's what this person is trying to do. To give someone freedom when they don't feel like they have it. To Freedom to transform. Oh, let's go ahead and get um, the messenger oracles and see what else advice we're going to get for my Capricorns. See what else my Capricorns are going to get here. Oh, there's one. There's another one. And, oh, we got four here. Wash away your burdens. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Common cleansing bath. But also, if you need to cry, cry. If your person needs to cry, let them cry. Tell them cry. Cry it out. It'll be all right. We're going to wash away the burdens. We've got all indications that those burdens are lifting. A new day dawns. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. With that star card, that sun card, the full card, yeah, the aquarium. Oh, it's a good, it's a good energy out in front of us. Have courage. Another Leo energy strength card. Everything works with me, not against me. And the next one, make the sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Yep, and that's what I feel like your person is trying to do to sway you from. Um, Getting t tied in deep with them uh, right now with what they're going through. And they're trying to sacrifice you, <laughs> set you free. <laughs> Don't let them. You stay determined. we got that determination and you know what you want. Yeah, make the sacrifice. Stay determined. Woo. Let's go ahead and pick a message deck to get messages through. Which one am I feeling? Let's go ahead and use the roses. For my Capricorn. So use the rose deck. See what we're going to get. Let me get some energy on the deck. Just for my Capricorn and their person. Please allow the person to speak through. And give us a brief message. Anything they want to say. I worry others will pull you away from me. Mm -hmm. What else? Can you feel me with you?
bottom energy off the deck. I want to be the one you run to. Yeah, they want to be that provider. They're worried. You're all I ever wanted. You're all I've ever wanted. Let's pull to the right, uh, the heart deck. I'm feeling that one. Y'all know it's sitting up over to my side and I can hear it calling me. Pull one from me. <laughs> this is Conversation with Counterparts. Let's put the energy on it for my Capricorns and their person. This is for my Capricorn and their person. Please allow the person send the message through with the deck here. Mm. My heart is guarded at the moment. Yeah. And they're also trying to guard your heart. Mm -hmm. I'm planning for our life together. Mm -hmm. What else? Your love mends my broken heart. Oh. Is there anything else? Let me... Make that one. I made a mistake. Mm -hmm. I made a mistake. And let's do the bottom one. Your light is leading me home. Oh. Okay, my Capricorns. That's all I have for us, guys. I'm sending you love and light and many, many blessings as always. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I hope I'll see you again next time. Bless be.